video about my continuing problems with my outboard and cleaning out the carburetor, I made a comment that I had ordered up a cheap Chinese replacement carburetor. Uh, today is the 2nd of September, the second day of spring. This came in yesterday after about seven weeks, seven, eight weeks it took to get here. We're still in lockdown, um, not going anywhere, so I haven't been able to run the outboard because we haven't been able to leave home for the last two months. And it looks like we're going to be in lockdown for at least another <clears throat> um, uh, six to eight weeks, but it looks like things, not till the end of October. We're looking at getting out of lockdown. Anyway, so I've got it. It's time to open it up and do the grand unveiling and see what we got. There we go. Well, it looks the looks the goods. Um. Well, that's. That's the right carb, that's what it looks like. You know, obviously, seeing if everything lines up <clears throat> will be the next step, but that's the same carb that's currently on it, the same configuration, and it comes with the little uh, tags or tabs to clip onto. This is your choke, this is your throttle. I've got to say, it looks the goods. Uh, <clears throat> is it a $45 paperweight? Or is it $45 really well spent? I uh, will find out. Uh, it's a Thursday. I'll wait till Saturday. I'll get the tank out, run the motor, make sure it's running okay. And then I'll take the carburetor off. I'll get my calipers out and see if the uh, throat diameter is the same and have a, a general comparison. And then we'll stick it on and see if we can get this thing to run. Anyway, I also bought uh, during this time, a little taco uh, to go on to the motor. This has a battery in it, and this wire loops around one of the spark plug uh, wires, and then it uh, runs. It gives me an hour meter, and it gives me the the, uh, the rev. So I might try and fit this up before I take the old carb off and see what she revs to, just as a bit of a comparison. It probably doesn't really mean much unless you can do it under load, <clears throat> but since we can't go to the water, it might be a uh, not a bad starting point. So I'll um, have a crack at that as well. This is about uh, $25, $30 from uh, Amazon, I think I got it from. Anyway, it's all pretty straightforward, and I'll cover that uh, in a couple of days. All right, it's now Saturday. It's the 3rd of September, Father's Day tomorrow, and... This time, exactly 12 months ago, I was going to take the boat out sailing for my father's day last year, and I didn't hook the boat up to the um, uh, the trailer up to the car quite properly. Went around for a test drive around the block and to uh, take it down to the uh, service station or the gas station, and um, I had to blow the tyres up, <coughs> and it uh, came off the uh, the hitch and rammed the back of the car, causing quite a bit of damage. So that was exactly 12 months ago today. Um, I don't have to worry about that at the moment because we're in lockdown. I just flushed the tank, so <clears throat> I haven't done it before now because I couldn't find my siphon. Can't go down the shops to buy one because everything's locked down. Finally bit the ball and did a click and collect uh, for Bunnings, they've got a siphon. And <laughs> of course, as soon as I bought it, I walked out here and I, and I found my siphon that I haven't been able to find for the last uh, two months. Anyway, so uh that's all done there was some big pieces of crud in there when i fished them out um it was oily so it must be big oil deposits from the oil additive uh, going into the tank <coughs> anyway so this is my carbon which we had a look at before i spoke about the uh the taco i'm going to pop that on so i'm going to put that on do a test run on the motor and get i suppose a bit of a baseline of what you'll rev up to just um statically <clears throat> and then I can, uh, when I swap the, the carbs over, if it all fits up and all works, I can do a bit of a comparison. So these are only about $35 from Amazon. I never knew these things existed until I was watching a, uh, uh, an outboard uh, YouTuber. He's, he's very good. He's up on the Central Coast, so just north of Sydney, up, uh, up around Gosford. And if I can, I'll find the link where he did a bit of a review on this. 
he was doing testing of different propellers, so that's why he needed a tacker on like a 25 horse uh, Merc. And uh, they're very simple. This is actually battery operated, it's got a little battery in it, and this is just to pick up that wraps around uh, the lead on the, uh, the spark, one of the spark plug leads. So I'll, I'll fit it all up and then I'll show you what I've done. It's very simple, uh, I think, uh, but I'm about to find out. So I'll get back to you all very shortly. So this is the old carburetor, which I've just taken off. So there's two clips under the fuel line, two bolts. The whole thing comes off in about a half a minute. Uh, here's the, the new cheapy, cheapy Chinesey one. And I've got to say, it certainly looks the goods. Uh, I'm reasonably hopeful that it should work okay. Anyway, as I said, we're about to find out. Uh, I did check the bore. The bore's the same. Um, it, the, I've got the gasket over here, that all lines up okay, and size-wise, it all seems to be, you know, a retrofit model. So, we'll go stick it on, and we'll see how it goes trying to start it. So, here it is fitted up here. I've got the cable coming through here. I've routed around this side because you don't want too much electrical interference. It is under the coils, but I've also got the lighting coil on this side. So anyway, I've run it around, we'll see what happens. If it's wrapped around the lead, my electrician's tape's crap. I'll change that, but it's wrapped around and cable tied, zip tied on. So we'll just um, fire it up and see what happens. I've set it to what I think the correct setting should be. And let's see how we go. This carburetor, this is my cheapy, cheapy Chinesey one. Uh, it's now a paperweight for my bench. It did run the motor, but it only ran it flat out. Uh, if you backed off at all, the motor would just die and stop. Uh, it should restart each time, but I'd have to uh, give it full choke, otherwise it wouldn't start. And then uh, it'd run idle, sort of okay. I actually didn't probably try any prolonged idling with the choke. Uh, these carburetors only have one adjustment on them. That's the the mixture. I wound it all the way in to the stop Wound it all the way out till she pretty well. It did actually fall out Didn't make any difference. I couldn't get this thing to run uh, at anything under about 4,000 revs so a little bit much to plonk it in and had a gear and uh, so it didn't work I will pull it apart and have a look at the jets uh, Maybe take the uh, the fuel pump apart and have a look at that as well See if there's anything obvious. I'm not expecting any miracle cures. It's probably just a dud unit, but if anyone has any ideas of maybe something that I should be having a look at, uh, I'm open to any suggestions. I'm not a, a, a mechanic or uh, particularly talented with carbs, actually very far from it. It did foul up the plugs uh, in the end where I had to put a spare set of plugs in when I swapped the other carb in but the motor's running fine now. Now I did test run it before on the old carburetor. Uh, the new Taco, that works really well. So five minutes is all it took to put it in. Uh, a little bit of a gimmick, I, I suppose. Not something that I really need, but a little bit of fun. 30 bucks, chuck it on. If I find anything particularly obvious about the carburetor, I'll probably follow the part of the next day or so. Um, I'll post an extra to this, uh, to this video. Well, bit of an update. I've been able to get the carburetor to work. Um, 
I don't want to make this an incredibly long video, so I'm going to make it a two-parter. So in the second part, you'll see uh, what I did to get that carburetor to work. Nothing hard, nothing profound, just basically cleaned it out. Nothing obvious, uh, but it's running beautifully now. Uh, it's a couple of days later. That was on Saturday. It's now Monday, and it's running really nicely. So uh, if you're interested to see how that went, my $45 paperweight has now gone to a, a $45 good buy. Um, so I'm really pleased with how it's working. I'm really pleased with the taco as well. Uh, so stay tuned. See you shortly. Cheers.